Philadelphia City Hall to Harrisburg. Former Philly City Commissioner Al Schmidt, now Governor-elect Josh Shapiro's pick to oversee elections as Secretary of the Commonwealth. I think 2020 was a good preparation for sort of where we are right now and being aware of you know, all the misinformation and disinformation out there and efforts to undermine confidence in elections. Schmidt spent the 2020 election as the only Republican on the board that runs elections in heavily Democratic Philadelphia. And as Philly counted its ballots, became a target of criticism by then President Trump, a target of threats by others. What were your thoughts about getting back into this line of work when it comes to um, safety and security of yourself and other elections officials and especially on an even bigger stage? Well, in 2020, my experience wasn't unique at all. Election administrators across the country, Democrats and Republicans, had to deal with these threats really deriving from the deluge of um, misinformation and lies about the election that were um, uh, causing people to, to act out in one way or another. My family is as dedicated to public service as I am. Um, so that was really not a consideration. Schmidt calling it an honor to be asked by Governor-elect Shapiro. This is Shapiro's first cabinet pick, a high-profile Republican in an incoming Democratic administration with a presidential election on the horizon. But what would be on the top of your list uh, of things that you would like to see done in time for the 2024 election? So, Lauren, I know this sounds obscure, and it's probably not, you know, in the thoughts of most people, uh, but... Mail-in ballot pre-canvassing is a really critical thing that we need in Pennsylvania. Schmidt talking about allowing county elections officials to start processing mail-in ballots before counting them on election day. It's the reason why Pennsylvania has results reported later than so many other states. Though county officials from both parties have pushed for it, Pennsylvania legislators have not come to an agreement on it. In Harrisburg, Republican lawmakers are hoping to push forward a constitutional amendment on voter ID. Given your experience with elections, do you think that Pennsylvania needs additional voter ID? Well, more broadly, I don't know that constitutional amendments are the right way to change the election code. I think that's best done in the legislature between the uh, you know, the general, general Assembly, the Senate, and the governor. I don't know that trying to end run around the legislative process is the right way to improve elections. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.